One of the largest pro-gun groups has become now the target of a lawsuit. But the political record of the NRA is not what the New York State Attorney General is looking into. It's our top story tonight at 10. The Not-For-Profit Association is a gun rights advocacy group and one of the most influential lobbying groups in Washington, D.C. According to the NRA, almost 5 million people are registered members of this organization. Between membership dues, program fees, and donations, the NRA reports more than $412 million in revenue in 2018 alone. It's that revenue report that has four leaders of the organization in the crosshairs of that attorney general. And KCAU 9's Hannah Adamson has the details on how local gun owners are reacting to this lawsuit against one of the most powerful organizations in this country. Tim and Sophie, a controversial move by the New York State Attorney General has shaken up folks in the gun community. I spoke with Siouxland gun enthusiasts, many of whom tell me this just wasn't the right way to go about the situation. A bold move from New York's Attorney General Thursday, announcing she is suing to dissolve the NRA. The lawsuit could force NRA leaders to pay back almost $63 million lost over the past three years. New York's Attorney General claiming money was improperly spent on personal items and close family and friends. Chase Sajaka, owner of American Brothers in Arms, however, isn't buying it. They are going after a group that really supports the Second Amendment. Um, and it's probably politically driven. Tim Grover, owner of RevTac Firearm Instruction, agrees. Whether this anything comes from this or not, at least people are like, oh, I don't know about the NRA before the election is, is I think, the ultimate goal. Chris Hector, a part-time gun instructor with RevTac, says he doesn't believe the lawsuit was politically motivated, but says NRA executives should be considered innocent until proven otherwise. They're a good lobbying organization. Um, and if they did something wrong with the money that they're given, they should be held accountable for that. Sajaka so says while he doesn't condone improper spending from any organization, he feels a lawsuit was the wrong way to approach the situation. I think this is the first time that I can remember the NRA being sued. Um, I think it's just another avenue they're trying to, to push a gun control agenda. Adding the decision will only further divide folks in an already heated political climate. I'm an NRA supporter. Um, I'm a lifetime member, and this will probably cause me to up my membership to the next level. Grover tells me for those on the fence about the NRA, there are many other organizations in the gun community folks can support, such as the USCCA or Gun Owners of America. He also says one of the most effective things you can do to represent the gun community is by using your vote. Hannah Adamson, KCAU 9 News.